Hi, Nancy here, and I'm back to show you how we're going to continue on with our short row key toe for our sock. We've worked across our four stitches, and now we've come to the, the twins, the three sets of twins. Okay, and now we need to separate the twins, so to speak. So I'm going to, after I knit the four stitches, one, two, three, four, now I'm going to knit the first stitch of the twin. Okay. Okay, now there's that yarn over hanging along the side here. If you notice, it is crooked. It's a twisted stitch. And that's because, if you recall, we twisted the purl stitches when we worked that side. So we need to turn it around. Okay, and we're going to put it back on the left needle. Now we're going to knit two together. That yarn over plus the first the anchor stitch of the second um yarn over set okay so there's one left in the single one but now we're down to this one so i'm going to knit it together with that yarn over okay and if i sound weird i'm getting totally stuffed up with allergies so i apologize okay now we're going to do a yarn over okay we're going to purl excuse me i'm going to try this continental we're going to purl so put this over the needle Go into that stitch, okay? Now purl, and you think that yarn over is not gonna stay, but it's going to, I promise. There you go, it's stuck on there just fine. I'm the worst purler in the world when it comes to English, so bear with me. I'll do a few more just so those of you who don't knit Continental can get the idea of what I'm doing. Okay, all right, all right. Now I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna make you suffer through this any longer. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to this side. Now we're gonna break up this set of twins. So now I'm gonna purl that stitch, okay, right there. There's the yarn over. It's not twisted because we never twisted the stitch, the yarn over on the knit side. So we're going to do a slip slip purl. We need to do a slip slip purl because on the right side of the work it will produce a left leaning decrease that will coincide with the right leaning knit two together. So now we're going to slip as to purl, slip as to purl. We're going to put the left needle in front of the two slip stitches. Okay, we're going to set it down. Now we're going to reach around, and I call these blind because you really can't see unless you flip it over here that you're going through the back loop. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Hopefully it's getting in the camera range here. I'm flipping it back. Then I'm wrapping my yarn. Okay, now we're going to turn. Now we're going to continue on again down to the other side. We're making our hourglass wide again, okay? Now, you can see it, it's gonna pop right out at you. We've got this anchor stitch. And now, look at this, we've got two yarn overs. We've got the one we left behind, plus we created another one when we made the turn. They're both twisted. We need to change that. We need to flip them around. And some people say, we'll just knit through the back loop. Well, I can't because it's going to coincide with this stitch right here. And that one's not twisted. And I would make it twisted if I did that. So I'm going to knit all three together. Just make sure you, A, don't split the stitches and you get all your loops. So I just knit all three together. Now I'm going to turn. And I'm doing, oh, I almost forgot it, see? Yarn over. Okay, and we're gonna go down the pike here again. Okay, now, as you can see, I just took the other half of the twin, broke them apart, Again, we've got two yarn overs and an anchor stitch. So slip as to purl, slip as to purl, 
slip as to purl. Put the left stitch in front of the three slip stitches. Take your right needle, reach around, come at that really odd angle through the back. That's why I have that little sample pattern so that you can practice this before you use expensive sock yarn. Okay, now we're gonna turn. And off we go again. Okay, here we go. We're gonna knit this one. We're gonna turn. We've got three stitches left, which is what we should have. So we're gonna turn it. We're gonna turn it. We're gonna put them back. And now we're gonna knit all three stitches together. Okay, and now we're gonna turn. Let's see. Okay, again, yarn over, and you'll see why. We're gonna use those yarn overs for something a little unique, so okay. Down we go. Okay, here you go. Anchor stitch right there. N yarn over. Now, last three. Slip, slip, slip. Put your left needle in front of the three slip stitches. Reach around. Get all three loops. Purl them all three together. Okay. Now we're going to turn. Okay, yarn over again. Now we're going to go down across these stitches. And technically our toe is done. Okay. So now I'm going to knit the anchor stitch but not the loop. Instead, I'm going to pull this needle up and I'm gonna slip them over to the sole stitches. Or it could be instep, it isn't gonna matter at this point. They're identical, or will be very shortly. Okay, so I'm sliding it into position, okay? I'm gonna start the row or the round, excuse me, we're done knitting back and forth for now with a knit two together. Okay, we're gonna knit two together and now we're gonna go down to the last stitch, but we are not gonna knit it. Okay, now this last stitch is a little trickier to get moved, but we have to move this yarn over that we did when we started that row. Remember on the, uh, the beginning of that other row? Okay. Okay, so we're going to take... Now, if this were tiny, tiny sock yarn, I would definitely be using a crochet hook okay because it just is a little tedious okay two four six eight, ten twelve thirteen that's exactly what i should have okay so now let's slide everybody back into position here now that stitch i just moved which was the yarn over and i didn't work the last stitch Remember, I worked 11, not the 12th. I'm going to put them onto my now free left needle. 
And now, because we're working in the round, okay, because we're working in the round, we do not need to do purl, slip, slip, purl to make a left-leaning decrease. We're on the right side now because we're in the round, and I can just do an SSK. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have officially gotten our toe done. Okay, look at this. Let me tuck this toe in. I do not cut this up. I actually use that tail yarn from the beginning cast on to reinforce my toe from the inside. It just helps, I think. Okay, so I'm kind of tucking in. There's our toe. Isn't that cool? Pretty cute toe, right? Okay, so I would do a few more rounds, and then I'm going to start doing my instep. And I'm going to join you back here to show you how that's done.